Hello everyone, this is Mario, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of the Giro d'Italia 2019. Today the riders will face a 192 km long uh, stage. It's con considered as a flat stage, although there are two hills uh, near the finish of the race, which might prove a difficulty to some of the sprinters. And if you haven't watched the video for the first stage, please do so. Some, um, well, not big surprises happened, but um, a few little surprises happened with uh, some of the top GC contenders. So check that out if you haven't done so. The favorites for today's stage, according to PCM, are obviously the best sprinters in this field. Fernando Gaviria, Arnaud Demar, Elia Viviani, Caleb Ewan and Pascal Ackerman are the top five favorites for today's stage. We have Matteo Moschetti as our team sprinter, but we um, are obviously not one of the top favorites for today's stage. So here we are about to begin the second stage of the Giro d'Italia 2019. The stage starts in Bologna, in the same city that held yesterday's individual time trial. And today my goal will be to try and challenge for the stage win with Matteo Moschetti. But I do realize it's going to be extremely difficult um, to, to do that because there are much stronger sprinters in this field. And I'm not putting any of my riders in uh, today's breakaway. My, my, goal, my goals for the Giro, as I said yesterday, are mainly to get Bokemolema in the top five of the GC at the end of the race and to try and win a stage um, with um, Matteo Moschetti. Of course, if things go wrong for Bokemolema, I will probably start to aim for a stage win with him. And I may also try and use one of the, the other two top riders in our team, Giulio Ciccone and Gianluca Brambilla, as um, challengers for the mountain classification. So at the beginning of the first hill of this stage, we have a breakaway of six riders. They have four and a half minutes lead over the peloton at the moment. There are only two riders from um, World Tour teams. Obzian, I don't know if that's how you say it, from CCC and Wiss uh, from Team Dimension Data. Then we have two riders from Bardiani. One from, uh, so those from Bardiani are Maestri and uh, Rota. Then we have Bagioli from Nipo Vini Fantini and also Dune, the Irish champion uh, from Israel Cycling Academy. The breakaway riders are now approaching the first KOM points of the Giro. We have Dune launching the attack. Let's see if he's the one taking all the points. No, it's going to be Bagioli taking top points, Bagioli. Yes, it's the rider from Nipovini Fantini, Nicola Bagioli, taking top points at the first KOM um, mountain in this Giro 2019. So in the meanwhile, there were two group falls um, in the peloton. The peloton is now completely uh, broken apart. And one of the top favorites for today's stage, Sasha Modolo, is very... Uh, very much in the back of the race right now. I don't know if he's going to be able to get back to the peloton. And if he can get back to the peloton, it's quite possible that um, he will have wasted uh, a lot of energy. Also, Jakub Maresco fell um, and he got dropped, but I think he's now back in, in the peloton again. So yes, I can confirm that Maresco is in, in the peloton. 
So he's going to be able to survive to the first stage, well, to the second stage of the Giro d'Italia. So the front riders are now about 50 kilometers away from the finish line. They still hold over two minutes lead over the peloton, but it's probably not going to be enough for them to be the first to cross the line in this stage. We are also approaching the first of those two hills, those steep hills um, close to the finish of the race. And we will see how they affect the, the outcome of the final expected sprint. So we are now going with the peloton in this first hill. It's very, very steep. It's steeper than I was expecting. And Moschetti is having some trouble um, staying in the peloton. Is wasting a lot of energy so at the moment. Let's see um, if he can go through these obstacles without wasting too much energy so that he can chain challenge uh, in the final sprint. So the peloton is now nearing the top of the, the hill. They are close to catching the only breakaway um, rider left, Obzian, with who is going to be the one crossing the KOM line in the first position, is obviously not reaching um, the end of the stage at the front. We managed to get Matteo Moschetti over these two hills, so he still has some energy. So I think he might be in a good position to challenge for the sprint, which is not going to be easy to win, of course. So now with less than 10 kilometers to go in this stage, I have assembled a small train uh, to take Moschetti to the front. Uh, but I don't really have a strong lead out rider for Moschetti. So I think I will simply try, try and um, keep him in the front of the, the, the pack and then uh, just follow the wheel of one of the strongest sprinters such as Viviani. I'm using the energy gels now. Actually, it's funny that no other team is having a train at the moment, and ours is the only train assembled, which is actually weird. So let's try and take advantage of that. Using Google now, starting the sprint with Conchi. And let's see, a sprint now with Moschetti. Go on, go on, Moschetti. And I'm not going to take this, the win. It's Fernando Gaviria taking the stage. Elia Viviani second, Ackerman third, and Moschetti was 12th, only 12th in the stage. I should have launched this sprint earlier, but it was kind of a weird stage. I was expecting uh, the strongest teams like Quickstep and Bora and FDG uh, to try and assemble some trains, but they didn't. They followed my train. That's a weird one. So Gaviria takes the stage, the first sprint stage of the 2019 Giro d'Italia, ahead of Elia Viviani and Pascal Ackermann. The GC leader is, of course, still Tom Dumoulin, five second, seconds ahead of Primoz Roglic and ten ahead of Ilnur Zakarin. Boke Molema keeps uh, his seventh position, 24 seconds down on the leader. The KOM leader is Obzian from CCC, and the points jersey is still held by Tom Dumoulin, although Fernando Gaviria now has as many points as the Dutch rider. The best young rider, Miguel Angel Lopez, has the same. He, he was already the leader uh, after yesterday's stage. And Astana leads the team classification. So this was it, guys. Uh, the first stage, the second stage, actually, of the Giro d'Italia. The first um, one finishing in a mass sprint. It was kind of expected that this would be the outcome. Gaviria was the strongest in the final sprint ahead of Viviani and Pascal Ackermann. So it's the first step for him to win the Malia Ciclamina 
for the points classification. Our sprinter, Matteo Moschetti, got 12th. It was not bad and not good as well. Um, I think I should have launched this sprint much earlier. He has plenty of energy left, but um, we'll try to get a better result on the next stage. So the third stage will again be a flat stage uh, suited for sprinters. The um, favorites are the same at, as in the previous stage, um, but the finish this time will not be hampered by big climbs near the finish. So uh, it's expected that riders such as Jakub Marezko can actually uh, challenge for the sprint in that one. So if you have enjoyed this video please uh, like the the video comment down below on what you think i should have done better um, if you haven't done so yet please subscribe to my channel um, i will appreciate your support very very much and i hope to see you next time for another video of the giro d'italia for the third stage and see you then